Yo, what is up, everybody? This is Beetle5, and welcome to another one of my reaction videos. This reaction video is gonna be another special one because it is, you guessed it, the final film of Little B.O.'s Metal Boots. And this is roughly a little over an hour long, so I'm gonna do my best to shut my mouth as much as I can throughout this reaction because I really want to watch and enjoy this. And it's just, it's gonna be so cool. If you don't know already, I voice one of the characters named Drake in this. This Metal Boots is a Lego film created by a Little B.O. He saw my channel and thought that I would be really good for the voice of one of his characters. And I'll leave a link in the description below to the film itself and to me reacting to the previous trailer if you haven't seen that before. So, without further ado, let's begin. Your humans act like them. <laughs> Enjoy with caution. <laughs> I like that. It's pretty funny. He does a really good job with this stuff. I mean, he's done... Little Beho has done other stop motion Lego films. <laughs> There's me. And again, I voice the character Drake, and he's actually kind of a funny character. I like him a lot. I want to say he fits my personality or whatever, because I know say, oh, you know, some people who do voices for characters say that the character fits their personality. No, Drake definitely does not fit me, ironically, but he's still cool. I like him. I just got out of the shower. My hair's a little messy. Alright. Alright. Can't wait to see what you got, Xavier. He's pretty good at he makes his own music. It's not something I do. I do my own editing, obviously, but... I don't do my own music. That's a shame, guys, I am to say it. So that's Austin. <laughs> this is the Blake effects. That's so cool. Austin, is the mail here yet? I'm waiting for my paycheck. I got the mail. I can't bring it to you. There's Emma. Well, where's the mail? Right here. I must be going now. Drake should be here in a minute. He hasn't worked here at all today. We're gonna have to cut his paycheck short. Where's my paycheck? You'll get yours. Do you know where Drake was today? He's working on another prank. I wonder what it is. Well, he ought to lay off those things for a while and actually come to work, would he? Yeah, but I'm working. He must be here now. Oh, cool, I ride a motorcycle. <laughs> Drake, what's up, buddy? Hey, Austin. What's up? Uh, the sky, the clouds, and the birds. What did you come up with while you were out today, Drake? When you get off work, we're gonna have a joust battle at the bus stop. Going back to the past, aren't we? Damn right, son. Son? <laughs> oh, man. Friend? <laughs> I get it. 
Drake, where were you? You've missed work today. Mind your own business, Emma. Besides, I'm about to take Austin to have a joust battle. You do realize I'm taking off a half of your paycheck. You hear me? Go ahead. I have enough to buy Fallout 4. But I don't know how to play Fallout. I could get a Roku. Or a goddamn BMW. I don't know how to play Fallout 4 either, and yet I have it. <laughs> There's Brian. Hi, Austin. Drake. Emma. What's going on? Well, I'll talk to you when you come in, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> Turns around so slowly that walks really fast. Just go. We'll meet down at the other shop. We got more work to do, and you better watch over Austin. Always. See you later. Wait for me. I gotta get my ETV. Uh, okay, now why does Bri- What does Brian move? Why does he get to move his legs? And why does my guy not get to move his legs? Why is, does Drake just walks, like, forward? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh god, the hair change. <laughs> Brian, why are you staring at me? Oh, I was just letting you be you. You look gorgeous today. Every day when you look at yourself in the mirror. And you say to yourself, God, I look like someone, a woman, a woman with a pretty face. That's what you are. You're a pretty-faced woman. Well, thank you. Anyways, I was wondering if we were still able to go to the other shop to help Mr. Willis. He's having a meeting over there. Well, you're the one that works with him. Why don't you take your bike? Oh, it's it's over there. It, it'll take me ten minutes to get there on foot. So? So I want to be there in, like, five. Why don't we just take the car? He needs you there, too. All right. I was thinking, maybe we can go out later on. Later on, what? Um, whenever we're not working? Y yeah Whatever, we'll talk about our plans later. Let's go see Mr. Willis. Let's just take your car. Alright. I think a credit to him, he probably built all this stuff himself. That's really good. I was never that creative at Legos. I always had to have the kit, like, with the Harry Potter and the Star Wars. I can never build anything on my own. Oh god, the jazz. <laughs> Want to go through the rules again? Yeah. After the green light flashes, the first person to stab the other wins the match. I'm gonna get you. Not happening. Okay. <laughs> oh, that explosion was the best. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Good thing Austin wore a helmet. <laughs> Super secret police. Why is the police so secret? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Wake up, maggots! <laughs> oh god, that slide whistle effect. What were you two doing? Why is there an accident? And why is there a traffic pull doing on the freaking bus stop? I invented that, and we were just. No, you shut up! I'm taking you guys out of this accident. This is dangerous. <laughs> the hell was that? See, that time the car moved a little bit more realistically than the other car. Now, I want both of you to tell me what in the world were you doing out on the bus stop? Why would we tell you anything? You're not a cop. You're a joke. I am the police. Hey, Officer Crank. Hello, Austin. Is Jake trying to get killed Officer out Crank there? Officer Crank or Kank? Well, we were just playing Joust. I don't remember. What? Joust? This isn't medieval times. It's a modern day type of Joust. He's trying to get you killed, you know that? I ain't doing nothing. 
We were just playing a game. Out, out on the street? You're going to kill that little boy? And you want to say that both of you were playing a game? Playing joust out on the street? And using vehicles and weapons? I saw an explosion too. How could that not come from you guys? Aren't you going to say, license and registration please, or drop down and give me 20? Are we under arrest? That doesn't get old. Okay, Mr. <laughs> Smart Mouth. If I catch you playing another dangerous game with a young and innocent boy, I'll find you, hunt you down, you understand me? Don't do it again. Hello, Kank. What's the problem? I found these two out on the street, who nearly died of so-called joust game. Well, tell Drake that. He's much more on the dangerous side. That's my middle name. What? Dangerous? Don't you have somewhere to be, Officer Kank? I think you've done us enough favors. Hey, don't get me started on you, too. I'll throw your ass on the ground again along with Drake Dangerous Rogers. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> That's so yeah, cool. And why don't you come and do it? I'm too old for this crap. Isn't this where you guys are supposed to be yet? Kind of. Yeah. Good. Don't let me catch you guys causing chaos on the streets again. Now what do you want to do? As you know, my shop is losing customers because of poor advertisement. It's not doing any good. And you, Brian, your behavior lately was god-awful. Oh what, so I lose my shit over something so out of the ordinary and so not really me? Are you kidding? Last month you took a kid's 3DS, threw it on the ground, ran out of my shop because I didn't promote you to be new manager. Mm, 3DS is a good name. I was pissed, okay? I don't care. Brian, you need to get yourself together and fix yourself before you completely demolish yourself and won't be able to work here anymore. You know, it's bad enough as it is. And you want to know something else? Someone who had worked here, before he went on vacation, he was smart enough to lend a security footage of you going into my shop when I'm not here, when the shop was closed, and taking a dump on my register, <laughs> saying... What the... <clears throat> F, Mr. Willis. What the fuck? What? <laughs> oh god, What, what did I do change. again? <laughs> hey, we're just gonna look around, so yeah. <laughs> Come on, Austin. Oh man, I'm so smooth. <laughs> Jesus. Emma, right? Yes. How's your business down there? Slow, but I'm used to it. I have Drake and Austin work for me, and we get along, but at times, Drake can be productive, and other times, he would just become a little bit of a prankster. Austin is more productive than Drake, and a good greeter. What's, what's your position there, if I may ask, exactly? Part owner and cashier. Hmm. Uh, who, who's the other owner? My father. He died six years ago. You know, I can use someone like you and, and your co-workers. How so? Well, it seems you have confidence, and, and you must feel a little unorganized. I can change that for you if you come work for me. Really? You can come help me get customers, so my business would go to where it used to be. Successful. Well, I'm not sure. You can think about it. Come back any time. If you've decided to come help me, please, feel free to come talk to me. I'll be open tomorrow. Bring your helpers with you. A and, Emma, please do me a favor. Yeah? Watch Brian. He, he has problems. You don't realize his true colors. He's a troubled Isn't he person. right there next well, to you? Well, I'm sure he makes up for it every time. Well, not constantly. Mr. Willis, <laughs> give me another chance. There. I can change my attitude and I'll make things better. I don't know about that. Please, I can learn from my mistakes. And I can make myself a better person. When I see the kid and his mother, I'll be sure to apologize to them. I, I don't know about him and his parent. They might not come back. Not after what you did. And I don't know if I could trust you anymore. <laughs> 
personally. But I'll give you one more chance. <sighs> okay. If you blow this chance, you're fired. You're dismissed. Now, uh, get out of my store. <laughs> what freaking ever. <laughs> Jesus. Well, uh, are you still deciding? Take your time. What was you guys talking about? I swear to God, the script said what was you guys talking about. I felt like it didn't make sense to me either, but I don't know if he was just talking slang because Drake is weird, but I <laughs> that I confused the hell out of me. I'm like, what? That's what the script originally said. I like his backgrounds. Oh, he uses the Krusty Krab, and oh my god, what? Jesus, <laughs> Xavier, where'd you get that Lego dude from? I mean, I know a lot of Lego guys. He does look great. Right. butt face. He's got a stormtrooper body. What do you want, Agba? From, from Star Wars. What do we want? We want to see you. That's what we want. What do you want, punk? Yeah, punk. I'd like to be left alone before I kick the three of you people's butts. <laughs> Really? That's so pathetic. What else you got for us, chicken? I mean it. I'll kill all three of you with my damn firearms, and you're not gonna like it. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, is that a threat? Hmm? You'll bet it's a threat. Now get the hell out of my face. Now. Okay, kid. Go home with Mama. We'll be waiting for ya. Whenever you're ready, we'll be here. Go. Oh no, Stormtrooper got him. <laughs> uh -oh. oh no, hit him with a two by four. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Do you really think that we was gonna let you off that easy? He must not be going very fast on his bike if Stormtrooper here manages to stop him. <laughs> oh, right in the dick. Oh, he's, oh, he was punching his dick. <laughs> his face is so funny to Stormtrooper. He's like, this is so tiny. It's, it's, it's look at that funny face. Why are you doing this crap to me? I didn't do anything. I like I'll tell face. you what you did. You didn't pay us a hundred bucks last week for the drugs. That's why. You're full of it, you know, Agba. I said I was working on getting the money, you ass. We're out of here. And unless you're gonna pay us the money I talked to you about, we're gonna keep beating the living shit out of you. I don't have the damn money. You're a bankrupt chicken face who can't do nothing about it. You don't have the money or the balls to show that you can duke out. Let's get out of here. Why'd you get your firearms that you Late threatened dork. with? dork. See ya. Don't wanna be a butt face? <laughs> How original. <laughs> butt face. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, big bottle of liquor. <laughs> that, that I uh, what what Lego sake and you get a giant freaking bottle of liquor? <laughs> Unless that's an upside down goblet he's using. I don't know. I recognize a lot of Lego stuff. Cause I used to play it all the time, but I mean, uh, I, I, I don't I don't want to be picked. No, not now. Maybe later. I don't mean to be nitpicky or anything and criticize his film or anything. It's really cool, it's just that... Some people are going to keep treating me like trash. Maybe then I'll take you up for a spin. 
I just I just like pointing out all the all the outside things in here. It's just because I like Lego too. But, but I'll I'll stop criticizing. If 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 that's what I'm doing. Oh, he's got guns. Transformers? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Just a few more stitches and you'll be fully operational. Get Hello? All the equipment. <laughs> I'm concerned about a dead possum and a TV set in there. <laughs> hey, Ridley. Sorry. There's no dead possum and a TV set in there. I'm sure it was another prank call one of my employees made. Oh, well. Okay. Wait. You're closing your shop? Yeah. I've decided to go and work for Mr. Willis over there. He's having trouble running his store. Okay. But I do appreciate you coming by here. Yeah, okay. Just make sure you tell your co-workers to stop playing around on the phone. I've had it with those prank calls. You know, I got other people to help. Well, I'm gonna go to his shop and start business with him. Finding ways to boost your business, huh? You know how my shop is, and I figure that I get paid more. Um, good luck with that. Hope you make it. Thank you. Good day. Okay, bye. God, that's dangerous. Why is Austin standing on the car? <laughs> that's not safe. <laughs> Drake? Yeah? Ridley came by about the prank. It would be better if you stopped pranking him. You know, he cares about his business. I thought he cared about his piece of toast. Look, we're going to work for Mr. Wills to make ourselves better. He also told me to make sure that Brian doesn't make any more mistakes. Either he's being a jerk, or his life must have been real crappy. There's something about him that makes me scared of him a little. Are you two still making out? I'm not saying that, but I still care about him. I don't like Brian. I think he's a smug. I understand. But look, just try not to do anything prank-related or any stupid things when we get over there. What are we doing over there, Emma? What is me and Austin going to do? Mr. Willis will give you something to do. <laughs> Whoopee. I wonder what Brian is doing with his day. I didn't really understand the piece of toast thing. What did Ridley mention that? I don't... <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Do you got a problem, punk? Oh shit, now he's got a gun. <laughs> he doesn't look the slightest bit scared. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let him catch a bullet. It's coming real soon, though. Good day to you both. Thank, Thank you. you. Please, come in. Emma. Mr. Willis? I see you've made your decision to come work for me. It took me a little time to think about, but I'm here. Lovely. See you inside. Where is that damned Brian? Okay. I've decided that we're moving on instead of waiting for Brian to get here. <laughs> Thank God. I'm sure he'll be here in a second. I want to work. Would you find me something to do so I can get paid? Now, now, Drake. Don't you try to turn into Brian. You... You're not quite as bad as Brian is. <laughs> <laughs> you you're better than him. Oh damn. I'm here, sir. <laughs> and I heard everything you're you said. Late. I don't know what time you get up, but it's not getting you here on time. He wasn't late by that. Emma's much. on register duty. Drake and Austin are on sorting duty. 
And your job is to greet whoever's coming into the store. What? I expect a better fucking job, like, <laughs> like the electronics center. Last time you were over there, you took that kid's 3DS and threw it on the. I love how he skews how he just. You're said, not working over there. Said fuck. Take this job, or you're fired. And don't ruin your last chance of working here either. I'm going out to get a few things, but I'll be back shortly. So get busy. Found a way to redeem yourself yet, Brian? <sighs> no. I'll give this a chance, but I'm not becoming bunk buddies with Drake, that pranking pansy. Yeah, when I come over there, I'll show you pansy, jerk. <sighs> I'll just go outside real quick and get some fresh air. You know something? That piece of garbage is going to get what's coming to him. I call this plan Operation BBO. Brian butts out. And we're gonna help him butt out. Are you sure that's gonna make you feel better? You mean, is that gonna make us feel better? Yeah, and it'll also put a new attitude on his face. Permanently. <laughs> okay, so what's the plan? I'm thinking about getting a car. A car to sh somehow drive Brian away from here. That way I won't have to see that idiot again. How are we gonna do that? Just follow me and I'll show you. Oh man. My character's a bad Behold, influence. <laughs> Mr. Willis's car. <laughs> oh, so it's Bumblebee from Transformers. Nice color scheme. <laughs> I like it. He didn't take that. <laughs> yep. I gotta run home to get remote control stuff. Meet me downstairs and out the back door. I just can't get over how cool it is just to hear my own voice in that, dude. I'm, I know it's stupid and egotistical of me, but it just it, it makes me smile. I can't help it. It's so cool. <sighs> is there anything to do besides waiting for people to come by just so I can greet them? There's nobody coming. I'm sure they'll be here. Just be patient. Emma, it's been 20 minutes so far, and I don't see, like, one person coming here at all. Watch my back. There's some grade-A remote-control techno shit that Drake has the... Uh, there's the no way in hell that I'm gonna make it through today with a poor job and a lack of respect from Drake. Well, learn how to respect it and him. Drake sometimes goes off, but not a lot, like you do. And he makes good use out of his job. Hey Brian, I was just thinking, even though we don't get along pretty well, I thought I might surprise you with a present just to start over. A present? How and where did you- Huh, a present. What is it? It's a car. I is it a good car? Because if it is, I might trust you. Yeah, I'm serious. It's a good-looking little thing. You could drive around the city with it, and you could go home with it. Am I supposed to be hearing any of this? <laughs> Thanks, Drake. I'll, uh, I'll go check it out. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh, nice. Oh, God. What did you do? Nothing yet, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> Drake, this is awesome. When do I leave town in this car? Now! I was always super excited to see how this scene was gonna work. Wait, wait, what is that? What are you doing? Getting you out of here! Out of my freaking face! No, don't! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! The way the car moves! <laughs> so cool! <laughs> this is not funny! There's gotta be a switch to turn this off! Oh man. Like I said, what kind of grade A techno shit does Drake have to have in order to do this to a car? Oh Christ. What is going on here? <laughs> it's face. Oh, that was the best. This face is the best. Oh, damn. Brian butts out. More like Brian goes bye bye. Awesome. Oh boy. Drake? What did you do? Nothing. 
Brian did all this. It's all Brian. Dude, you're gonna get sued soon. <laughs> Brian, I am way past angry and mad about you. What you did out there almost took my life and my car away. First of all, why were you off duty driving my car around like you're going on vacation? I thought it was a new car. Someone bought it, I took it out for a spin and blah blah blah. I, it wasn't my fault though. Someone was controlling it and- That's enough. You know what? I gave you a chance. I gave you a chance, but you blew it! You're a psycho. For going out doing crap like that. God. You must not like me. You have problems of, of some sort. I don't know. What is it? You know something? I never wanted another chance of working here. Because you offered a shitty job to me. And you know what? You can shove it. Brian. Stay out of this, Emma. You know what? First you smash the three S and now you took my car like you're gone. How about this? You're a psychopath. We established this. You're going nowhere with this conversation. You are fired. You're completely done. And I want you out of my shop and to never come back. Oh. God. God. What is wrong with you? Dick punch. <laughs> what did you do that for? I got canned, and he doesn't understand. That doesn't mean you have to punch him in the gut. There's something wrong with oh, you today. Oh, the gut. My bad. <laughs> Whatever. I'm out. I got accused for a prank, and I got canned. Nice. Call the doctor. Call, call the doctor. It must be pretty old to have a punch in the gut to be, have to have a doctor. Oh, look at Mr. Goody Two Shows over here. Is this what you wanted? To watch me get canned over your stupid little fucking prank? Shouldn't have been mean to me, man. Talking trash about me? You deserve what you got. Go walk it off somewhere, Brian. You're the meanest son of a gun I've ever met. Damn it. Should have brought Coca Cola's. <laughs> God, my character's such a dick. <laughs> oh man. And now bring out the suit of power, or whatever the hell it's called. You're a bankrupt shaking face who can't do nothing. Oh god. Hey, don't get me started on you too. I'll throw your ass on the ground again along with Drake Dangerous Broad. You're a psychopath. You are fired. You're completely done. Shouldn't have been mean to me, man. Talking trash about me. Go walk it off someone, Brian. You're the meanest son of a gun I've ever met. What the fuck? Austin, do you know what happened today? Well, Drake wanted to get rid of Brian because he didn't like him. Because Brian doesn't like him. When was you and Brian together? Me and Brian were together for like a long time. We talked about getting married, but that didn't happen. But later, his personality changed when he started to drink constantly. He had a bunch of beverages that you should not drink. Later, he made a scene when he stole an innocent man's iPhone 5 and threw it in a lake. He was arrested five minutes after that. You get arrested I've for decided that we can just be just friends. trashy iPhone. What happened after that? He got out two months after that. I'm surprised he still works with Mr. Willis. Well, not anymore he doesn't. But just giving you a backstory. He must have a real big grudge against you know what you mean. technological you know what devices. Now? <laughs> I know what will happen. My mom's going to kill me if I'm not home by 11. I gotta go. Drake? Yeah? Did you plan to prank Brian? Alright, yes. But, I did it for a good reason. I wanted to get along with Brian, but I didn't know it was gonna come to this. Not at all. Could you please keep this a secret and never bring this up at all? Please? 
Well, I do understand your chemistry between you and him. But you almost killed Mr. Willis. Are you going to make up for it and apologize to him somehow? Yes, and I'll stay on the night shift to help you out with anything at the shop. I'll let my mother know. Fine, but every Friday and Saturday. Thanks, Emma. I owe you one. I gotta go. I should be heading home, too. Okay, bye. See you tomorrow. The next day. <laughs> just just did Top Kenny's voice from SpongeBob. <laughs> oh boy. See that looks pretty original. I have a I have a pretty solid memory of what certain things are from Lego sets, and I've never seen something like that. I suppose knowing it would probably ruin the experience, but that guy, I can't find. I can't figure out what it's from. Anything with y yellow skin, though, are just generic Lego things that, like, that I would never be able to figure out on the spot. I mean, more like his power suit, like that helmet. I figured I'd see it somewhere, but I have no idea. Maybe something from Star Wars. Oh, that's a cool effect. That's fucking cool. <laughs> Taking off the shirt. That's so neat. Move the cape. Shouldn't take the bite, people will real oh. Okay. Magical paint job, why not? <laughs> I was gonna say people would know that Brian drives an orange bike. <laughs> that looks better. So now he's gonna go I, was I thought he was gonna go fuck up the gang look members. Left. Look right. Nothing in sight. Look left. Look right. <laughs> Nothing in sight. Oh god. <laughs> what the heck is this? <laughs> Stare off here? Oh, okay, or not? <laughs> How can any cop ignore this? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh god. There we go. <laughs> Pop this tire. <laughs> so you want to play like that, huh? You got something coming to you soon. Just you wait. Hey, ominous gang. I want to talk about what will happen if Brian doesn't pay us. Oh, I know what will happen. We're going to throw him to a dumpster and have the garbage truck carry him to the dump. 
That will take some time for that to happen. He's crawling on the floor. I love how these guys, the ominous gays. You know, I was thinking about finding out where the hell he lives and going there to kill him. That sounds like an assassin job to me. You're saying that in a good way or in a bad way? Well, what do you think, boss? I think that sounds like a simplistic idea only an unprofessional son of a gun would plan. He's the boss? I Shut thought... up, Snips. Screw off, Pool. Oh, okay. He's oh not my the boss. god. I like... I thought... What? Who is that? <laughs> what the fuck is with this head? <laughs> hey, buddy. Is that a little too early for Halloween for you to be dressing up in some <laughs> God, I'm so sorry, I can't get over how funny this This head just turns 180 degrees. <laughs> oh my god. That was so funny. And I like how their their hangout is the, the crusty crab. Oh that, that was that was so cool. <laughs> oh man. Still didn't pay you the money you requested. Brian? You. That's a pretty bad. You're in that Robocop voice. <laughs> and you got enough balls to, to take us out. <laughs> I hope you're real happy about yourself. You are a tough guy, and I thought you wasn't. I bet. You'll have a better life or not. After getting rid of the ominous gang. You... You won't owe shit from us then. Good luck, pal. Exactly. <laughs> just effect. <laughs> when you just smush his brains. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, Phew, that was a bit of a short day. I know. I kind of feel bad for Mr. Willis, though. I hope he's okay. You're still going to apologize to him? Yeah. I don't got a choice, do I? Hey guys, I gotta go home. My mother and sister wants me there for a picnic. Gotta go. Okay, bye Austin. Later, Austin, dude. Yeah, it's good that you get out of here now, man. You don't want to see the hell that's about to come. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, he saw the hell. <laughs> yep, just, just walk away. <laughs> he's like, fuck this, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, he's the smartest How should kid. I apologize to him? How about you start when you developed your so-called plan to get rid of Brian? Though, I'm not sure you were still controlling him in Mr. Willis's car when he hit him. No, I'm sure I stopped the device before Brian hit him on his own. Are you sure about that? Positive. Though I feel something unusual is gonna come <laughs> to us and bite our asses in two seconds. What? <laughs> die. Die. Die! Oh, God. Oh, I make an epic dive to save Emma. I love that. No, no, I'll save you. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I love the look how is that? Drake is still I don't smiling. know, but it looks like it's trying to kill us. No kidding. What do we do? Do you have a plan? <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm sure that robot guy is still outside in the front, so let's go out the back door and plan our escape. <laughs> the back door. <laughs> I'm sorry, Xavier. Just sometimes it's really funny. I like it. Oh. Where the heck did you get that gun? I bought it for protection. Never know who's gonna come up to you with a weapon. Right. So, how do we escape? Okay, I'll distract the robot guy. 
There's a black motorcycle, which looks like the brand Brian drives. You take it and then come get me. We'll escape from that hunk of junk. Now go! But, Drake, I don't think that would work. What if he sees me? Just go! <laughs> what the fuck? What was my- what was with this face? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this all be good. Yo, Terminator! Robocop! Cyrax, Sector, whatever you call yourself. <laughs> Mortal Kombat robots. Oh boy, he's not even red or yellow. What are you doing down here? Why are you trying to kill us? What's it to you? You do not want to do that, man. There is no point. We can work something out. No. Then what? I'm not going to shoot you. I want to reason with you. There is absolutely nothing to reason. You sound like Brian. <laughs> no, I'm the Terminator. That's what you called me, right? You gave me that name. Damn it, Brian! Why the crap are you doing this? <sighs> what do you think, Bub? You let me shoot you first, then I'll tell you why. No way! Oh, epic joke. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> oh, headshot. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, oh, he destroyed the bike. Oh, okay, I didn't get what happened. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, Z change. <laughs> cool. Ridley, this is an emergency. Some maniac in a robot suit was after us and is about to kill us any second if you're not down here. Why am I calling? Why? Sorry. Okay. A, a maniac in a robot suit is trying to kill you? Yes, please help. Because I don't know what's going on anymore. Why is she calling the mechanic? And I think he's finding another way in here. Okay. Uh, don't panic. I'm on my way right now. Yeah, I'm like, why? What's Ridley gonna do? I guess maybe there's no one else to call. I don't know what to do anymore. We're so screwed. We're so dead. And to top things off, I know who was in that costume. I heard his voice. You did? Who was it? He sounded familiar. I think he's after me because of that freaking prank. Wait, do you think it's. <laughs> Oh no! Oh! Oh god, please don't kill me! I didn't do anything wrong, please! You know, you guys really make me sick. Who are you? Please show yourself. <laughs> you want to know who I really am? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's me. I'm the guy behind the robot suit. Brian? <laughs> yes. Why? Why? Because I'm pissed. Especially after Drake's stupid prank. He got me fired. Just when I'm trying to become a better person than I wasn't before, it was all ruined. You know, I'm starting to realize something about you now. You think killing me and Drake will make you a better person? When you look at yourself in the mirror, do you say to yourself, God, I look like someone. A psycho. Uh, a psycho uh, uh, in a killer uh, uh. robot suit. That's what you're becoming. A psycho in a killer robot suit. Why did I go out with someone like you? You never make up for your mistakes, do you? I thought Drake was a mess when it comes to his pranks and his mouth, but now, you. Because I'm sick of you people, and I wish I was out of this life. Which is hell, by the way. Especially after Drake's stupid little f***ing prank. So what if your life's crappy? All I did was show you to not be such a nutcase to me when I was trying to be nice. You deserve what you got. And now you want to kill me for it? What have you been doing? Drinking? Throwing your life away? That, that's what you've been doing, huh? Throwing your life away because you can't make up for the actions you did in the past? You will go no further. 
Watch me, asswipe. You can't make up your mistakes to save your life. And you waste your life making your robot suit just to go out to kill me but that disguise? That's real productive of you, sir. Real productive. You ought to be in jail for trying to kill innocent people. Why don't you sober up? Learn how to become a real nice person. Not some robot suited nutcase like you are now. Read books about it. If you can't do it, then I don't know, drop dead. If Austin was around this situation and you was going to kill him too, for no reason, then you should drop dead anyways. Oh god, he has a silencer on his pistol. <laughs> Brian, do you got a problem? You better stop and think about what you're doing. Oh good, I'll Hold on. cake. Stop what you're doing. Don't do anything stupid. You'll get through this well. Brian? So that was you in the robot suit? When you took out my tire? You wanna know something else, Kank? That idiot was trying to kill me and Emma over a prank that wasn't supposed to be taken seriously. I can tell, Drake, because I drove over there. I heard gunshots from the distance and found three people dead. And it has to be something to do with him too. So Brian is turning into a murderer now? What a coincidence. Now he's going to kill Emma and Drake, the people I knew for a long time. I can put a stop to that. He's not going to jail to cause problems over there either. Not like before. He's um, done. That's not you Drake and Drake talking. run on home. You're not seeing this terrible waste of life again. You're going to kill him, aren't you? He caused enough problems in the past and present. Big problems. Does the mechanic now have go. a right to shoot another human? Can I go too? <laughs> I'm Have you done anything shocked. wrong today? <laughs> Not at all, no. Then go. Uh, it, I didn't Have think... a nice life, psychopath. Not! I don't even wish you godspeed. <laughs> I thought Drake got shot, he's moving You've like- You've been one convicted felon right there, son. Um... Your actions tonight are triggered by a decision to either kill you or had Riley do it. You don't deserve life anymore. Not ever. Let me do it, sir. I'll pay for his death. I have a quiet weapon. Very well. Now strip those robot stuff you have. Uh, I... I don't know. I'm a little lost. You're a disgrace to this town. I have your head shot off clean, and you'll be buried somewhere down the sea. Damn. And have fun being the devil's slave, and may God have mercy on your <laughs> psychotic soul. Holy crap. Permission to kill? Go ahead. I want to head back to the station to eat donuts. <laughs> okay. Bye, Brian. <laughs> Why the fuck not? I felt like that was really heartless there. I mean, I get that he was a crazy guy, but I felt like they were a little too nonchalant about all that. Oh, I don't know. After I badmouth the hell out of him before almost dying at the hands of him, all of a sudden I'm remembering how great it was after two days of him dying. Real humane, Emma. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This new design for my shop. This will get many customers in here. What is your shop? How would you come up with this tremendous idea? I didn't know where to start, but I think I kind of made the first choice and went with this. Nice. Uh, by the way, I, I, I've heard about 
Brian's death. You have? Yes. What he had become was like... He's, he was mad uh, about something. I know, but Mr. Willis, can you do me a favor? Yes. I want to forget about him. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to go outside to get some air. Oh, and Mr. Willis, it's good to have you back. I know. It, it feels good. Okay, see you in a few minutes. Okay. Hello. Whoa, what was, Drake. What was that sound effect? <laughs> you scared me. Did I just TP in the room? but I have invented a teleporting device to help ah. you get here quickly. Oh, it's right. It's implanted in my shoes. Two stomps, and I'm here. All right. So you gave up your pranking it's... days for the sake of inventing things? Yeah, you could say that. Heck, I could even build something that'll help grow this shop. Cool, but where's Austin? Austin texted me saying, on vacation with family. Let Emma know that I'm gone for two months. Oh, okay. At least he's safe over there. Yeah. What time does the shop open? Five minutes. Okay, I'm going to the restroom real quick. Be right back. Look at that, I've read the script and I can't even remember what the fuck happens. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, Emma. Ridley? How's the shop coming along? He's got nice hair. <laughs> it's fine. What about my father's? Yellow crime tapes everywhere. I closed that shop two days ago. I know. But the ambulance came and removed Brian's body. And the police came and put yellow tapes around the whole building. It's a crime scene over there now. Oh. But hey, you still got your father's honor with you. And he's still proud of you. That's all that matters. Thanks. You're welcome. And, um, I was wondering if you can sell this? You snatched that from him? Yep, what? and I had it washed and dry cleaned. Oops, what's that sound effect? Something from Mario? Well, no, I can't. No? No, you keep it. Really? Yeah, you've got it clean and resurfaced, but I want you to keep it. Okay. So yeah, I also came over here to see if you and Drake were okay. Yep, we are, and I'm sure we'll get better. Glad to hear. Well, I have to get to work before I get fired. Okay, my shift starts in a minute anyways. Okay, have a very nice day. Okay, you too. Thank you. Goodbye, and tell Drake I said hello. I will. See you. make a living again? After you, my hero. <laughs> Alright, you two. Time to get to work. We've got customers. Hey, that looks like what's his name? Emmett from the Lego movie. <laughs> well, it's close at least. Oh, there's Mr. Krabs over on the right side! <laughs> And what is that up? That's Fred from Scooby-Doo? <laughs> That's so cool! <laughs> oh man, that was... that was really neat. I really liked that a lot. It was... It was just, just so... it was really great. I loved it. Xavier, you did a hell of a job with this movie. It just... I... it was so... I can't get over how great it was. And what's actually really cool is that, um... In the past of, of Xavier's movies, is that he, um. By the way, if you don't, if you don't realize, Xavier is Little B.O., I just keep saying that. He, um. voiced his own characters in his, uh. previous Lego films. This is the very first time where he himself did not. He got a bunch of other different YouTubers, like myself and others, to do voices for his characters, and it turned out so good. It really did. I, I thought it was amazing. And, you know, I mean, he does such a great job of, like, moving, just moving, like, Lego stuff around, street ambiance, I think. And it, I gotta say, the sound effects and the music were really good, too. And if Xavier made that, it's fucking amazing camera used. Oh, wow. It's a good camera program. 
I'm guessing Vegas, maybe? Everybody uses it. Paint. Oh my god. Xavier, if you're using... If you're using the most medial of, of programs like Paint and Movie Maker to make this, that is amazing! To do that! Well, actually, Movie Maker's not that bad. I, I myself hate Paint, but that was... That was still pretty good to be able to do that. I could never use paint to make something look that good. Like all the mouths and the blink effects, I, I, I would be horrible at it. But that was, that was excellent. Oh man, I can't. Oh, just special thanking all of us? Well, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, it was so good. Who was Kane uh, I, I wasn't paying attention to King Neo was. But still, I mean, to be able to create stop motion let go films on its own is pretty damn amazing. Not something I could ever do on my own. And just, I mean, and I, and I think stop motion for anything is always better. Like, that's why I love the Lego movie, because the Lego movie was all stop motion. I went, went like a slight bit of animation. That was the longest Lego movie I've ever worked on. And it was, by far, honestly, the best. So, well done. I mean, his own company and everything, that's cool. I wish I was that professional. <laughs> it's like, a license by little, like, no, not Lumio. Beetle 5 Companies and Enterprises. <laughs> that would be neat. No. What you guys see, right? Oh. Wait, hold on. So you actually sat through this hour-long movie. Well, congrats. And I must tell you, it took me at least two and a half months to make it. I didn't think that I was going to make a longer Lego film. Usually my Lego films are like less than 20 minutes long. But after going through the footage, I thought to myself, am I doing this for real? Geez, after this, doing this movie, I'm ready to go back to semi-retirement from doing Lego films again. Until I get some more material to work with. I also want to see what else I'm going to do with my 17-year-old life. God damn, he's younger than me and he's made this? It's good. I'll seek to it, but that doesn't mean I'm gone forever. <laughs> pronounced little, little HBO. Oh, maybe I was pronouncing it wrong. My mistake then. <laughs> little HBO. I thought it was just little. I thought the H was silent. I thought it was just little B.O. <sighs> wow. That was... Oh, there's still, there's still more. Let's just sit here for 50 seconds. Yeah, I probably just did. Alright, well. That was so good. I really loved the film. Xavier did a hell of a job, and I was so glad to be a part of it. So thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I'm going to leave a link down in the description below so you guys can watch his old movie too and give him all the praise and all the glory. Make sure you go subscribe to his channel because he just he did a kick-ass job. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to leave a comment for what else I should do in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Laters!